Hello everyone! <laughs> How are you? Yeah? Good! I am too. Yes, it's me, Oshan, here again with another fabulous story that's found its way here to my little story corner. And this one is all about Brenda. Because Brenda is a sheep. Mm -hmm. And this is a story by Morag Hood. Now then, does Brenda look like a sheep to you? Maybe not at first glance. Hmm. How very strange. Shall we learn more about this story, do you think? Yeah, I think so too. But before we start with any story, as you know, there are things that we need to check. First of all, are you ready for a story? Yes, are you sure? <laughs> I thought so. I can see you all looking really keen to start. But we'll need our listening ears as well. Where are your listening ears? There we are. All right, I think you're ready. In that case then, here it is. Brenda is a sheep by Morag. Oh, I think that's a picture of Brenda's lovely jumper. Oh, looks so nice, doesn't it? There it is again. Brenda is a sheep. Yeah. These are sheep. But I'm sure you knew that. <laughs> this is also a sheep. This sheep is called Brenda. Brenda has a very nice woolly jumper. Mm. Also, it does look nice, doesn't it? Would you like a woolly jumper like that? Okay, maybe not in this sunny weather we're all having right now, but I think you do really well with a nice woolly jumper. <laughs> Something to think about for the winter. Brenda does all the things that sheep do. I'm not sure if she enjoys it though. Hmm. Because Brenda is a sheep. Look at them all making a racket, making a big fancy noise. Do you know what noise sheep make? I'll give you a clue. It's on the page. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, they are noisy. Do you know what? Shall we try doing a sheep noise now as well? Because I think you'd make a really good sheep. Yeah? Okay, let's try it. A load. As many bars as you can fit into five seconds after three. Okay? One. Two. Three. Stop. <laughs> My goodness, you're like an entire flock in one. <gasps> well, I'm sure Brenda would be very happy to see you. What do you think? The sheep learn lots of new games from their friend Brenda. Like catch, teeth sharpening, mm. and tag. Brenda loves tag, but no matter how hard she tries, she can never catch anyone. They always get away. I think there's something fishy about Brenda and not the fact that she's a fish because Brenda is a sheep. The sheep think that Brenda is probably the best sheep they have ever met. She is also very tall, has nice pointy teeth and her wool is all knitted and colourful. 
all the sheep want to be just like Brenda. Look at them. I think they're big fans of old Brenda. Oh, fair play to them. Look, they've even all started dressing up as Brenda. And this one, knitting her own woolen jumper. These ones, put little ears on, little noses. And look, somebody's even spinning. What about Brenda? But Brenda has other things on her mind. Oh my. What's that book she has there? Can you read? If I turn the page. Like that, I'll turn the book actually, rather than the page. 101. <gasps> Sheep recipes? Oh goodness. This could turn out differently. She is working hard on her special mint sauce recipe. Ooh, mint sauce. I heard that goes well with... The sheep have never had Brenda's special mint sauce. But she tells them that it is very tasty. You just need to find the right thing to eat it with. Ooh, and the sheep seem very excited about the whole thing. And I would be as well. Mint sauce is... Oh, it's lovely. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Luckily, Brenda knows just the thing. She is getting ready for a feast. Oh. The sheep are very excited. <laughs> Do you think they should be excited? No, you don't think so? What, what is that? Oh, now, now. Brenda's clearly a sheep. Look at her. She's got a nice woolly jumper and everything. You're all crazy. You're all nuts. Brenda tells the sheep to go to bed nice and early. She says there will be a surprise for them in the morning. A delicious surprise. Oh, oh my. Maybe you're right, I don't know. Brenda has to wait a very long time for the sheep to go to sleep. Hmm. Well, having read several bedtime stories to you, I'm pretty sure you are very much like the sheep. Look at this one. You don't even know how to wear a jumper properly. <sighs> but, at last, they begin to nod off one by one. Brenda counts them. On her claws. One yummy sheep. Two yummy sheep. Three yummy sheep. Ah! Excuse me. Counting sheep is a dangerous thing to do if you don't want to fall asleep. So there's Brenda, snoring away. <laughs> but there's someone else here, isn't there? Looks as though our friends the sheep are up to something. By the time Brenda wakes up, the sheep have made a surprise of their own. Oh, well, I think Brenda's definitely surprised, isn't she? Woo. There is 
grass stew and grass pie and grass burgers and grass lasagna and grass sandwiches and grass sausages and for pudding it's even pudding grass biscuits with a delicious sauce to pour over it all oh a beautiful feast this is not the feast brenda had planned mm. no who do you think planned it that's right all of these sheep and look they even have little fancy cocktails. <laughs> so this is not the feast that Brenda had planned. But when she sees everything that her friends have done for her, a big band, balloons, Brenda is best, Brenda can't help but join in the fun. Because, after all, Brenda is a sheep. Oh, look at that. I think Brenda's very happy to be a sheep. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah? <laughs> Indeed. And there it is. The famous woolly jumper in all of its glory. And that quite neatly, brings us to the end of today's story. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah? <laughs> well, I enjoyed it very much as well. And it just goes to show that sometimes, even though you look different or can act a little differently, you can still be accepted by people for who you are. And it's important to make friends wherever you go. So maybe if you haven't had a chance yet, maybe try and get in touch with some of your friends. Some of you may still be in school. Some of you may not have seen your friends in a while, but uh, maybe you can ask your mum or your dad or whoever's looking after you. Maybe if you can send an email or write a little letter because everybody likes to make sure that they see and hear from their friends. <laughs> but that is it for this week's stories. I'll have to wait for another story to find its way back to my little story corner before I can give you another. But that's actually quite lucky because we know what time it is now, don't we? Yeah, it's bedtime. So, I am going to get my little duvet here, my little blanket, and I am going to say thank you very much for listening, and good night. Nostar. <laughs>